All right, man, we're back. Sports Unplugged in the building from Comcast, Sports.net, Chrissy Harper, and, of course, my man, B.C., Brian Crawford. Man, a legend. Slam Magazine. Trying to be a legend. Loving like the you. shirt, dog. Appreciate it, man. The rosé shirt is yes, crazy. Sir. <laughs> That's so crazy. You probably got that free, too. They just sent it to you? Yeah. I know. That's how I go. You, Scoop, all you guys get But look at you. You free got, on, shit. You I got paid on for that. Oh, you Paid did? for it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> paid for but it. But you get a lot of free <laughs> shoes. Caught though. it on sale. Those paid for these. Paid for these. Paid for these. You ain't paid for those. <laughs> Okay, I ain't paid for this. I know you did. <laughs> Shout out to my man Chris <laughs> over at Nike, my dog. Um, back to the Bulls. They're going home tonight. Yeah, it's I think a wrap. it's done. It's a wrap. I mean, you know, the fan in me doesn't want it to be over. I would like to get one more game in Chicago, but I I think it's a wrap. If it is, what are the changes you see forthcoming in the future for the Bulls, and what changes do you think they can make? Because me personally. I don't think they can field, this is me, a championship caliber team till 2015, 2016. They might have a shot then, depending on who they get out the free agent market. But if it was up to me, everybody can be gone except for Jimmy Butler, Taj, <laughs> Derek, Joe Kim, and Nate. And you can scrap the rest of that squad, as far as I'm concerned, Lou included. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in order for them, I think they need to start preparing now. Derek is coming back next year. I think you need to start. Is he? Rebu- yeah, he'll be back. All right. I think you start to, you know, you, you need to start rebuilding a team that's going to be together for about two or three years. You can't just every summer come back with a new bench and an entire new roster. Right. But in order for that to happen, they got to trade somebody. Right. And I really think By that Lou, uh, Lou Aldang is going to get shipped out. Why Lou? Yeah, it's a wrap. Why Lou? Why not? I mean, Lou's an all-star, though. That's oh, God. That, oh, that's that's oh. by default. That, <laughs> hey, you know what though? But that's why he's a two-time All Star coming off that. coming off the best season of his career. Speaking of Lou Aldane, did he when he got sick? Everybody in the locker room had the same thing, right? Right. But why the African dude got to get the spinal tap? They think he gonna come over here with malaria or something? I don't know. But that that, <laughs> that was wrong. Like that was come on, man. You only give the African guy the spinal tap, right? Because you want to check him for minutes. Out. The race card is in play. Now you should have had some. Is that the race card, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's yeah, like yeah. a black on black crime. Hey, man, you said African about four times. Though. I did. So that, 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 I did. <laughs> Shout out to my African taxi driver. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> taxi driver, not driver, but taxi driver. Listen, <laughs> I, I, you know, when you look at Lou's numbers, and I'm looking at them right here, you know, 11, 14, 18, 17, 14, 17, 17, 15, 16. Here's a problem I have with Lou O'Dang's game. Cons- consistently, he's giving you, he's like Carlos Boozer to me, but yeah, at the small defense. forward. Yeah, he plays defense, but what I mean by he is what he is. Right. He's never going to get past that 16 to 15 game. I need Lou to give me at least 20 to 22 a game. To help Derek, you need the another number two guy to do the that. The defense is great, but we also got guys like Jimmy Butler, Taj, who can play defense. And if Jimmy Butler, who who I doubted him, I'm sorry, Jimmy, I didn't think Jimmy Butler could potentially be a 20 point scorer in the league. Yeah. Yeah. I really do see that coming out of him. Taj gives him, gives you athleticism at the four. He can guard. Joe Kim, we know, energy guy, high motor, and is capable of dropping a 25, 30 point game when he gets to going. Yep. But Lou, it seems like when I need him the most, he fades. And that's the problem what I have. If you're a two time All Star, late in games, sometimes you just disappear. It's like I don't see you. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that his man is going off for 20 anything, but I don't see him. He, I guess no scoring from him or nothing. He's not an offensive guy, though, Leon. That's, that's not true. that's not what he's there for. He's there to guard the best he's player. He's getting paid on the like it. That's right. Knock Scottie down some Pippen, open Jays. Scottie Pippen wasn't an offensive guy either. But Mike knew, hey, if it's eight people running at me, I know Pip going to get buckets. Like, I really think, like, when they throw the ball to Lewis, like, you hold your breath. Is Willie? Scotty. Well, is he going to go to and the time you think he's going to go to the basket and punch on somebody, he pulls up and shoots the jumper. Right. Clangs it. The time you be like, shoot the jumper, he tries to go to the bucket, turns the ball over. And that's the type of stuff. If he was kind of like Tim Duncan, where quietly you look up and you're like, damn, he got 30. Right. Where did it come from? No problem. Or, But he's not a Kevin Garnett type player. He's not a, a, a Paul George where he's going to be explosive. The defense. It comes and goes too. 
like down the stretch, does he make stops? If you look at, and there's no way for me to pull it up, but if you look at down the stretch, two minutes left in the game, and the team star player still getting off, right? Gets a bucket here and there. Like I don't see Lou stopping a Carmelo Anthony with a minute thirty left. I mean, you remember last year when Melo hit them two big threes in, in his, his mouth. mouth. In his mouth. And that's what I'm talking about. But then people hollow all-star. But I'm like, by default, in the Eastern Conference, it's not hard to make it as a forward in the Eastern Conference. Man, I'm glad Agra not here. That's his dude. He would have defended him two for male. Yeah. And I like Lou all I day. Do, I just man. don't Good like guy. that. He, I just don't like that he make a fourteen million dollars. I feel like you could take that money and appropriate it elsewhere and build you, you a team. You paid Ben's money. I give you. You did get a Lexus, but you got the three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I'd lose a Lexus 300. Right. But you're paying SLS money SLS for him. SLS money for him. And he's not that guy. And that's what I get upset about. So, I mean, <clears throat> you like Lou? I like Lou. I like his game. I mean, I understand what you're saying. But, like I said, I like him. I like his defense. With him, and, I think with him and Jimmy out there on the defensive end, it could bring a lot for the team. What are the points? Well, that well next year, you know, Derek will be back. Lou will give you some points. Jimmy, I think, will step up big next year. So I think him, Derek, Jimmy, and Joe will be able to handle. Oh, are, the, are the Bulls oh, gonna God. fall in love with? You Jimmy? don't like Joe? I think you don't like Joe Kim. No, 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 no. love Joe Kim. Here, here's oh. my thing. I think I think we're going into a situation where we went with Lou Aldane to begin with. We over we overvalue some of our players. I think to the point where right now the Bulls are the Phoenix Suns of defense. That's how I look at them. They're a great defensive team. Uh, that's what they bread that's and butter. That's what they hang their hat on, yeah. Yeah, but they only get them so far. Now, I understand defense wins championships and all that good stuff, but the thing is you need someone to put the ball, ball into the, the basket on a consistent basis, yeah. and we have nobody that can do that. Even Derek scares me sometimes when, when he was out there because the thing is when you when when the, when the Derek is out there, for some reason, all that ball movement you see when he's not in the game, it, it's it, gone. It's gone because yeah. they watched the Derek Rose show. That's so my thing is uh, the Bulls need to get a two guard. They got one. Who? Jimmy Butler. Not, but Jimmy see, Butler, here's a, the thing. it should be a three. But, but here's the Lou thing. Lou they need to go. And this, and this is what I'm worried Sorry, about. Sorry, Lou. B- B- <laughs> Bulls... Bulls fans are gonna f- bad. are gonna get enamored <laughs> with Jimmy Butler. They're gonna fall in love, overpay him, and overpay him, and not address the two because there are two guards out there that can get that a better that, no, that are more the- that are more offensive minded than Jimmy Butler that can get buckets. What I'm saying is, I love Jimmy on the defensive end, but it's got to be this is his breakout year. Hey man, so to speak. he's Lou all day. No, he's not. No, he's not. He might be a little better. You're gonna pay a lot of money for him, <laughs> oh and then when it, listen, oh, then, when, come then on. when he only averages 15. We'll be back here having this conversation two years from he now. You'll be like, he got to give me no, more. He's, he's, more ath- he's more athletic. I'll no. give you that. But come on now. No. And, no. You got you to gotta think, this is only his second year. He's doing all of this in his second okay, year. Okay, right. okay. But and I mean, when, as soon as he stepped into the starting lineup, he made a great impact. Lou averaged 14 his second year and, on, and has only went three points higher than that since he's been in the league. That's what you're going to... But we just said Jimmy Butler could get a dub. I'm saying I, I think he could, but we we're going to so get too. enamored. Hold on. I just don't want to fall in love with him. And give him it's like million. It's like she's a beautiful young lady, right? And, oh, she's a dime. We'll wipe the bam. I'm going to show her the world. Then I get her home. She can't cook. And she crazy. <laughs> I can't cook, by the way. I can cook. Okay. All right. That's cool. <laughs> but you still but I'm crazy. Just saying, right. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy. I didn't even hear that. I didn't even hear that. Like, I'm sleeping, and then when I wake up, she just over me, looking at me. You want some spaghetti? You know, you, I'm cooking chicken. It's 2 in the morning. How the fuck you cooking chicken, bro? It's 2, two in the, the morning. morning. right. I just thought you was out late, and I and she holding the pot of grease right over. So it's like, I get it. Uh, in love with, I, man, Jimmy Butler has played out his mind this year, and I know he's an Iron Man. We know he can play the minutes. But as soon as we... He signed that deal. He like what Look, happened? Do you not? That's, do you, hey, that's hey. what happened to Taj. Real talk. Yeah, yeah. Taj signed that's that the extension. The pressure of playing with that. And contract. they all addressed that though. Yeah. Joe did address that. You feel a lot of pressure when you feel like you have all this money and you have to perform. But see here, but the, the great here. players do it. Okay, hold on, but, but they will get there. But hold eventually. on, but he, hold on. Do you not remember what happened when Lou Aldang had that series against the Miami Heat with Shaq and Dwayne Wade? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when, when the Bulls beat him? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We thought that was Lou Alls here. Then he, then, <laughs> 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 
Uh, ben who? <laughs> we ain't giving Ben Gordon shit. Get out of here. I thought they should have paid Ben Gordon. Yeah. Okay, they but look what ben, ben did. Did Ben do anything with the Bobcats? Because you know what? Ben went to what Ben went to a team that couldn't hide his weakness and deficiencies. Right. The Chicago Bulls could hide his deficiency. It's just like when I hear about Ray Allen. I'm like, Ray Allen ain't no damn stellar defensive player. The teams he's been on have been able to hide his deficiencies. They, Boston hey, could hide him in the they, system. They've been saying Nate Robinson's been playing good defense. No. 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 He's had you, Joe you just, Kim and, and Taj behind well, him. Well, I mean, yeah. So all you got to do is let somebody um, get behind you. You got these bigs right, right. there. Imagine yeah. Ben Gordon, Eastern Conference Finals two years ago with the MVP. Holy LeBron can't run and double nobody now. That's why I say they need to keep Nate Robinson. No, no, That's no. why they need to keep Nate Robinson look, right man, there. Look, okay, here's a question. You don't, you don't forget no. when Ben said, yeah. what? No, no. Here, you see hey, this? For, hey, for all three of you, Leon, who who you keeping and who needs to go? I told you. Right. Derek stays. Yeah. A Butler stays. Got gotcha. you. Taj Gibson stays. Okay. Joe Kim Noah. Nate. Gotcha. Everybody else you could go. Chris, Chrissy, who you got? The purge they ass. I like those, but I don't think we're going to keep Nate. I think Nate's gonna get a big contract with somebody. Else. What's big? Big, big is only gonna get like three million. He gonna get like three million no for three years. If you years. stack that, that's taller than him. But, but here's, oh, the, here's the thing: <laughs> Nate, Nate ain't gonna get the green light he gets here. Nate's not gonna no. be able. To, Nate's not gonna be able to play like this. Nate got his else. own commercial. I know. He can play like that in Milwaukee. He got his own. Yeah. When, Charlotte, Brandon, when Brandon and Charlotte, he could. That's it. Who, who you? Who, who you got? I mean, uh, I'm agreeing with Leon. I, I mean, I feel like they need to keep all them players. I mean, if Carlos Boozer is gone, I'm not gonna miss him. Right. If if Lou. if Lou Aldang is gone, I hate to see him go, but I'm yeah. not gonna miss him because you're talking about that's what almost thirty million dollars right. off the books. All I'm talking about right now is the money. Like, I, I understand you. the talent. No, I got you. But you and, gotta that, get, and that you quarter that I gave that you is, is still young. Mm-hmm. Butler's young. Taj is young. Joe Kim got miles on him, but still relatively young. NBA yeah. standards. Derrick Rose, young. 24 Those years old. Young guys. Right. That's I, a young nucleus that hey, you can build with. I keep Bellinelli. I like Bellinelli. You keep Bellinelli, he can go. Man. You can find somebody else. Bye. Yeah, he can go. I like Bellinelli, I love you, man. Like go Bellinelli. ahead. Like Great Bellinelli. pasta. Get up out of here, Stacey. Had King a conversation come up with, with a Scoop. <laughs> Scoop said he felt like they should keep the core together at least one more year. That's including Ding and Carlos Boozer. Like, you can't do it. No. The money is just not there. Like, you can't well, do Stephen it. Well, Stephen A. Smith actually thinks this team, fully healthy, with Derrick Rose at the point, is a championship team. They could beat the Miami Heat. I believe that. <laughs> I, I believe they. Well, how long you not see it? No, they, their style they, of play will they, change. Look, you know it, dog. They need another score. I don't this care what anybody. Of, and, they and got they, one in Nate Robinson, <sighs> but you can't have him and certain people on the floor. You at can the play same him time. and Derek at the same time. Yes, this you is, can. So now, listen, uh, you can't listen. get Teague and Derek out there. No, but no, you no, no, no. Nate. Yes, because <laughs> Nate is and Derek out Nate there. Nate is a much bigger scoring threat. Check this out. You playing against Miami, right? You got Nate and Derek Rose on the floor at the same time. Say LeBron is guarding Derrick Rose. Who going to stop Nate? Himself. Nate it doesn't matter. Nate is going to guard himself. They had Nate on Eddie, uh, on not Eddie, on Gerald Wallace in the last series. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Robinson will go off. Or he might go out over zero for 12. Hey, 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 now, uh, now ben good, Gordon, Nate, good Nate, bad Nate. I get that. Ben and you're going to get more Nate, bad Nate than But good. you got a lot no. of bad Teague. Well, Teague is a rookie. And I think and when Nate, it. I think when Nate, the reason he went 0 for 12, his legs were dead. He you saw him shoot, Right, you saw him shooting those threes, his legs were dead. I don't want to hear that shit because if he'd have went for 35, all I would have heard is, this team better than broken on the verge of extinction and the guts, the guts of Nate Robbins, onions, baby. I got to hear that all night. So don't, don't, don't make no. that the excuse that But it's that not an excuse. It's, it's part Listen, of playing. That's there, true. There's a reason he's been to what? How many teams in his career? About eight. Okay. There's a reason. For that, we ain't we ain't just okay. And I'm not doubting he gives you but bursts I think, and spurts of energy. And when he shoots three and he gets excited and is talking, I love it too. But to tell me he's going to consistently come out yes. and give teams twenty that's this bullshit. is the best. This is the I'm best year of it. Nate Robinson's career playing for and Tom probably, Thibodeau. And then, and then yeah. he's going to get his playing money. Playing for Tom Thibodeau. And Thibodeau go away. The, but he will he he will continue that. That boy got more heart than probably anybody in the locker room, man. But like like we said, it comes to a point in time. You gotta have the talent. You can have heart. All heart is great, but it's gonna be that one point in time. All that heart shit go I out agree the window, with you. and you gotta. That's have what the we're seeing right now. Hold on, that's what we're seeing right Brian, now. Brian, real quick, who, who do you think the Bulls can get in this off season? Who can the Bulls? Is there anybody the Bulls can bring on? Because we know Rip Hamilton. You could have Rudy Gay. 
<laughs> been perfect right now in this series. We can't afford. I don't know we if can't if afford. Gay is better than Lou Aldang. Oh wow. Man, I think he's a better athlete. Fight this <laughs> I think he's a better athlete. I don't know if he's a better player. Better score. That's what you need. Yeah. Better score. He can't guard his shadow, though. Toe. <laughs> <laughs>